but if we have to put it away, we have to put it away. It's not worth risking having a, yeah, a major repair. That's what's happening to me. We woke up to an insane amount of condensation on our windows. And that's just not gonna work for us, I'm sure, because uh, my family can't handle cold weather. So one step you should never forget to do is checking your tire pressure, especially when you're changing seasons. We've been going out about weekly and I check the tire pressure every week before we head out and it's been a different PSI every time. So and I think that's one of the reasons people have a lot of tire damage. Make sure you check those pressure and uh, I really love this compressor right here, Vi-Air. It's really powerful and it basically fills them up very quickly. You just plug it into your battery and you know plug it into your tire and hit the button and it has a little gauge right here where you can uh check your pressure what is that supposed to be at well it depends on your t on your rig but our tires are supposed to be at 50 psi ready yeah looks like he has a lot of space i think he'll be fine yeah i just gotta cut it wide make sure i don't hit the tail i can see this side Make sure I don't hit the tail of the one against the building on this side, okay? Okay. Am I good? Yeah. I'm good. I'm plenty good on this side. Okay. I don't have any noise. Do you hear any noise? No, you're good. All right, so just to sum up what just happened, uh, we had a little bit of a tough time uh, leveling it because it's kind of unlevel, but we figured it out. Just to do a recap, we disconnected the weight distribution bars on a level ground, which made it very easy to take off because we noticed that this area was pretty unlevel and I knew I was gonna have a hard time from previous experience, unlevel, sites are hard to remove those bars so we took them off at a level area uh, backed it in and then disconnected it from the truck so that was way easier we have elbow room from the next camper and here's the other side Nice setup for the next couple days. What? So do you want to put it up? Henry's telling me that the awning needs to come, it needs to be put away because it's windy. And the thing is, I really wanted my decorations to be out for the night, but if we have to put it away, we have to put it away. It's not worth risking having a, yeah, a major repair, but, um, oh. anyway, I had some day of the dead decorations. We were supposed to be going to a different campground, but it got flooded. I don't know if I mentioned that already. So we had to change our plans. So we came to this more chill campground. I really, really like this site. So the sites over there are a lot closer together. Um, but this site, which is site 87, you see how much space we have. So we ha have someone right to the right of us and then to the left of us, all we have is this creek, which is super nice. Not a bad view, huh? 
I think I'm stressing Henry out with this uh, awning situation. I mean, we have LED lights in the awning, so we don't really have to hang the string lights, but I just think they're kind of cute. I can just turn the other lights on tonight, the LED lights. Oh, but you want to put the whole... Okay. Oh my god, my lantern. <laughs> What's happening to me? I just want to decorate. The black hook that this was hanging on. Alright guys, I'm about to go on a treasure hunt. I love those hooks. I don't want to lose it. I'll be back. We got the campfire burning nicely now. That is that Publix wood I was telling you about. Actually, Publix was sold out. I had to go to a couple different areas to find it. So um, apparently it's pretty popular wood. It's good stuff, guys. Cheap and good stuff. Burn slow and long. Like it a lot, like it a lot. Better than those hot sticks that burn in like 45 minutes. I don't know if you can see the water, the light bouncing off the water. Looks pretty cool. The skies look pretty nice too. So it's going to be nice spending the next two days here. Good morning, guys. This is our first time camping in freezing temperatures, and we woke up to an insane amount of condensation on our windows throughout yeah. the camper. Yeah. Um, like a pool. So. Henry has already wiped this down multiple times, but I don't know if you can really appreciate all the water around this window. Um, so that's- Can you see it when I do this? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. That is not good. So I'm glad we figured this out pretty quickly. First of all, we did not have the travel trailer vented at all and we ran the heat last night which i think are big no-nos now that i'm reading a little bit more if you guys have any tips to help us with the condensation issue please drop them in the comment section below all right guys so we are getting ready to go to the nearest walmart because we have uh, quite a few concerns about humidity in the rv we want to get a dehumidifier because at nighttime that's when we probably will really see the moisture build up in the windows so we're off to walmart try to find an affordable dehumidifier and see how that works out for us tonight because we do want to do winter camping especially me maybe not maya and the kids so much but i do want to utilize the camper in the winter and we have to run the heat not running the heat is not an option with my family at least there's a lot of talk about not running the heat at night and getting electric blankets and things of that nature and and that's just not going to work for us i'm sure because uh, my family can't handle cold weather, unfortunately. So, uh, we'll see how this dehumidifier works and just run the heat as usual. And we'll see how that works out. So, we're in Walmart now and all they have are these big old dehumidifiers here. That um, would take up too much space in our rig. So, we're thinking we're just going to hold off and probably order from Amazon. Oh, they got it you think we should get that big one? No. Just we one. barely have enough room for a trash can. You know what? Let's just get a fifth wheel. That way we can fit. Okay, that's ridiculous. The view coming out of the Walmart is beautiful. Dehumidifiers are way too pricey. So uh, we're going to keep on looking. We'll just deal. Keep doing what we're doing. Looks like it's working. But in the meantime, look at these views, man. This is amazing. It'll probably look really nice during a snowy winter. Look at that, it's pretty. I was saying there's that misty mountain over there. Where? Right there, see where the mist is right there? That's misty mountain. <laughs> Alright, this is uh, take two of putting out the decorations. Yesterday we had to take them down because it was a little bit windy. So we had to bring the awning in. 
But uh, today is actually Halloween, so it's more appropriate to set it up today, right, babe? Yep. The wind has uh, died down. I think that was from that storm that was blowing through. And uh, check out this spread. What you got going on? How you feeling huh, about the spread? I mean, I'm a little concerned about this. I think I need more wine before I try it. <laughs> what is that? Mussels? It's mussels that I picked up from World Market. Ew. Mussels and vinegar. I think I need to be a little tipsy. I got this kind of wine to pair with it. So we'll see. Is that brie? No, it's some other kind of soft cheese that I got from World Market too, I think. Yo, I do not like mussels. Oh my God. Let's put this in the Um, sure. I feel like I'm about to like vomit. Oh my God. I do not like mussels. Maybe I should not have tried mussels and vinegar. Maybe I just shouldn't have done that. I'm not really a huge meat eater. I'm really funny about meat. So that was just not a good idea. I nice. picked up this RV awning stabilizer kit to help keep the awning from flopping around with wind gusts. Picked it up at Walmart, actually. Only cost about 10 bucks. I'm not sure if they have them on Amazon. If so, I'll link them in the description box, but kind of secures the awning so it won't like fly away. The Walmart in Staunton, Virginia, where we are camping or right outside of where we are camping, had a ton of RV equipment, which I thought was pretty interesting because where we live, there is no RV equipment in Walmart. So they had like an entire section, which I thought was pretty dope. So I think I figured this out. I'm sure Maya told you guys we got this from Walmart. We always worry about this awning. It was a little trickier than I thought it would be, <laughs> but um, that's the setup. And it's, it holds tension on the way up. If you can see, can't really go up any higher than that. It looks loose, but I don't really want tension on the arms because it might damage the uh, original mechanisms. So yeah, this is a good purchase. 10 bucks, you can't beat that. And these stakes, they basically screw into the ground just like that. So they're pretty secure. So I wouldn't even worry about this overnight. Right. Um, I'm very happy about this purchase. So yeah, Walmart, $10 guys. Elena, look at the color changing candle. So my niece for my birthday gave me an awesome gift, a camping theme gift basket, which was super awesome. And it had this citronella um, candle that changes colors. It's really cute. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am preparing a chicken, apple, and gouda sausage with fresh herbs from the garden, <laughs> um, peppers, spinach, gnocchi. I'll throw some fresh tomatoes in there. I think that's gonna be it. So we'll get this sauteed up and then I'll add the gnocchi and I'll be back. I love cooking in the camper. I think I need to get a gas grill or something so I can cook outside of the camper since we're having these condensation issues. Cause I did see that you probably shouldn't be using your propane inside or your fire burners inside because it creates a lot of moisture so for that reason it is brick in here right now probably warmer outside next to the fire than it is in here right now i'll show you nice i'll check back in in a minute so i added some frozen spinach Woo, fogging up it's getting hot in here Check back in in just a minute. I don't want to put you on there if you're not happy with it. Anyway, no, I am. You can go ahead and put me on there. No. What are you saying? No. <laughs> put your mouth. You, no. you can't see all of it. <laughs> you can't? No. <laughs> Dad, get on there. No, I got a t shirt. <laughs> just peek your head in there. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Anyway, these are my parents, and one day I'm going to be camping with them. But anyway, in the meantime, here is the finished product. 
We have some Parmesan cheese we're going to sprinkle on that, some mozzarella, and then we'll be done. You excited? Good morning, guys. We are actually wrapping up our stay here at Walnut Hills Campground right outside of Staunton, Virginia. And we really thoroughly enjoy being here for Halloween. From what I've heard, they usually have like a big, big party and festival and things like that for the kids. But due to COVID, it was very low key. Um, but I think we still had a great time. Yeah, this is the primo spot here at Walnut Hill. Yeah, Henry and I um, tried a few different things last night as far as the condensation goes. We uh, ventilated the trailer a lot better. We lowered the temperature when I started cooking. We kept the screen door open. It was a little chilly, but we told the kids just throw on some blankets. And when we woke up this morning, oh my God, what a significant difference. Now, obviously there was still a little bit of condensation. So we're gonna implement a few things and then we're gonna try it. And if it works, we'll get back to you with a video. If you think that would be helpful, let us know in the comment section below. So now we are heading to Devil's Backbone, which is right outside of Charlottesville, Virginia, not too far from here. And we're gonna spend a few nights there. So we'll continue off next week's video from Devil's Backbone. And on that note, we'll see you on the next one.